We've submitted this information to Chief Willard in Manchester and to Ted Gatsas. Ted Gatsas gave it to Anagos. He didn't investigate. He actually gave it to the drug dealers. Now, how do you guys know that? Because we're in a lawsuit with them, and the lawyer, Shaheen and Gordon, attached the letter that he sent to Gatsas as evidence for why. With a time stamp. That's how timely they are. So, I mean, it's in writing, time stamped, when Gatsas received the letter and when he sent it to Anagos and Shaheen and Gordon. Good afternoon, New Hampshire. This is Aaron Day filling in today for Mike Gill for the state of corruption. And we certainly won't back down, and it certainly is a state of corruption. I'm filling in today for Mike because Mike is in prison. I was with Mike on Wednesday when he went to a hearing on a family court matter. He interacted with the judge. The judge decided to not allow him to film the proceedings, wouldn't let him submit evidence, text messages, documenting how people are interested in and planning to murder his children. There she is. She was one of the top divorce attorneys in New Hampshire. I just read you her statement about the corruption. Now, let's see what happened to Dollar. The engagement letter was forged. Remember the one I told you about, Ross? This is what she said back to me. I am afraid I'm being psychologically, physically, and financially tortured. I am scared to death. I am completely alone. Keep going. She tells me where she is. I am scared to death for my life, and I need help. Dollar Sedgwick. So, her reward is, she's in hiding in Oklahoma. She's afraid for her life. Now, I want you to remember that. Let's go to Shaheen and Gordon. Right? This is where, this is also the cash register. See Bill there? You saw a check. That check's for 100000 It's extortion. And if you look at the comment section, I said that any use of this other than the light, traffic light, would be unlawful. Well, it was extortion and Bill Shaheen got the whole 100 Right. See, that's how it works. It's called the Billy Tax. And he's enforcer. Who do you think his enforcer might be? Oh, I don't know. Gene Shaheen and the governor? That's right. Any big company coming into this state, what do you think they go through? Shaheen and Gordon. You know what the advice to me was? Let's listen to Nick Alexander's voicemail to me. Alexander saying we should go to the feds and he can open up a case. You know what he forgot to tell me? That he was representing Liberty Mutual. We should have been calling the FBI against him. I digress. We have. Let's look at Richard Head's notes. These are Richard Head's handwritten notes in an interview with Donna Susie. Now Donna Susie is a lawyer for the banking department, who was covering up the Ponzi scheme, having an interview with the guy who was covering up the Ponzi scheme from the AG's office. They were working together. You know what these notes say that, again, are made available be attached to the end of the video? It says that they knew about the Ponzi scheme in 2003 and some in inclination that in 1999. They referenced that Hildreth, the banking commissioner, was friends with Gallagher. And that Hilton himself had two brothers on the Ponzi scheme. They knew about the Ponzi scheme. See, that's what they did. You know why these notes came public? They were given to me. Now, you know who they were given to me by? 
George Lambert. He just announced he's running for governor. Guess what? He calls Kevin and goes, Hey, Kevin, this thing with FRM. He goes, Is it true about Lambert and Head? He goes, Wait a minute. Don't file the complaint to the Department of Justice. Send it to the AG's office. What? So as I sent mine to the Department of Justice in Washington, he sent his complaint to the AG's office because this guy told him to. Who's running for government? Right. Now why would he do that? Why would he tell the criminals of the AG that we're turning them in to themselves? Well, they did assign somebody. Right. Dick Tracy. No shit. Dick Tracy is looking for Dickhead, who just went to California. Will someone tell him they were sitting next to each other, but he's moved? Now, nah. why would he do that? Well, how about this? If he sent it to Washington, Sunshine here couldn't leverage the corrupt. Right. You think about that. Well, let's keep going. Do you know what Sununu did? Oh, first of all, you see those texts? What happened? Now, Kevin's not that insightful, but he did say this. Sununu smells blood in the water, and so does Shaheen. Shaheen. Really? And he told Kevin, don't worry about Head. He's not getting the job. Hassan's going to get him the executive job. I'm going to stop that. That's Cohen. Right? That means our boy Cohen just lied in the deposition flat out. He signed it. You know why I never signed it? I couldn't see it. Because it was false. And the DRA had to leverage me with a tax return. Even though it was forged and false. See? That's how it works. Let's go to the next witness. Maria Pizzuto. She's a key witness here. Key. In her narrative. Now I'll hit it, but I'll let you read it. She formed all the cases against individuals within the state. All the criminal DRA tax returns, everything she did. And then she would give the information to, go back, the, to Morris Mahoney. That formed the complaints that went out. You see those legal complaints? That was the information she put together. Go back. So in putting all this together, she saw the criminality. Now let's take a look at her text. Again, she's now married, start from the beginning. She's now married to Bob Jufras, right? Now I'm going to read you some of her texts. She asked me here, can you get on YouTube? Well, I'm going to try. Mike, I have some information that will change the face of this, but you need to be super careful, including your own safety. Remember, all these will be attached. You have to do it convertly. Your safety is in danger. Don't be vocal moving forward. I think you have to understand the true evil nature of things. You have to assume you're up against evil, not just corruption. You have to keep your plan secret. Right? I told you there were spies. She was on it coming into this. Again, Keep under, you keep underestimating the fear factor of the very evil, corrupt group. At the top, it goes beyond criminal. They scare the hell out of the little guy practicing on their own. Many dads are being cut from their children's lives with no evidence. She was now married to one of the power brokers in this whole thing. She is discovering this as I am. And she's afraid that I'm going to be killed. Yes, there is. All big, powerful firms. All the ones you have sued. She's agreeing that the ones we're suing are the right ones. that are running the state. She's saying they're connected to the judiciary. Connected to the judges. This is a closed network protecting one another. What have I been trying to tell you this whole time? But it's really predicting the level of evil. Regular chess moves don't work. Sorry. Call investigators, interview until you find someone you can trust. Hire. Personal security. Mike, I'm saying this for your own good. Stop turning to New Hampshire's attorneys for help. Stop playing right into their hands. Keep your enemy close this time. Play along. Set them up. 
I get things done behind the scenes. Then a special thing comes up. And you know what that was? She discovered that Ted and Tony were spies. I'm 100% sure that Tony's job is to set me up the way Dollar is. Remember? Dollar was my attorney. They've got her in hiding in Oklahoma worried to be killed. You see? She's starting to put that together. Tony hasn't changed his job on the BBO. He still works for himself. Clean tax. See, she knew the IRS was a place to go. Now watch. This is very important. Obvious, Ortiz office got a call when they had a heads up. Simple thing to do. Let's go back for a second. You see that with Ortiz office? Let's visit Miss Ortiz. You know who Miss Ortiz is? She's the U.S. attorney in Massachusetts. Mike, I'm 100% sure about Tony. 100%. He's going to sink the whole thing and get a private investigator and forensics. Tony was handling, guess what everybody, the DRA. Right, and going after Morris Mahoney. It was all a setup. Mike, on LinkedIn, can you see Tony with the same department as Nick at Morris Mahoney? And his claims to have saved tons of money for the insurers. Now think about that. I will watch it again. Zero Dark Thirty movie. Catching Bin Laden. It sounds like the same terrorist organization in New Hampshire. Legal terrorists. You see? You will never get justice. And she left after that. And I'll explain. Let's go back to Friedman. Freeman saying going to Ortiz in the FBI. Except for when I sat down with Freeman, with Marisa, who you just met, who wrote all that, uh, the complaints together, he turned around and asked for his own release. See that guy? That was his last day of employment. Right. You see all those bags? He didn't come in with them. His job right along was destroying files and evidence. Right. When I fired Morris Mahoney, he was the guy who had to come in and plant. Hit Little's text messages. Now, you know what I did after? We caught this guy. Look what he does. This is his Texas to me. Leverage. Keep going up. Right? Keep going. He wants to turn around and say, you need a prepaid disposable phone. Right? Because you know why he knows? Because he knows I'm being listened to. Pretty mysterious, huh? Enemy a friend, or is my enemy still my friend? Up. Uh, hold on. Down a little. Keep it in. So you know me, and you know the tapes, and you know it. I am an honest man trying to do the right thing. Wanted to help. Do I assume that you are a friend again? Treat me like one. Up. Uh, friends are hard to come by. These deep after I witness what I have, I believe the truth doesn't matter anymore. Up. 
I do know both sides done wrong. Yes, I do care. No people get shipped out of state. You not hear from them again. What type of info I have. And you know that has already happened a couple times. So I don't need friends. I need a little fish swimming in a pond full of sharks. Who played at cards right so far, ready to cash in? I won't give you a free tip. Don't talk on your phone. They are tapped. Really? Now why are people tapping my phone up? Invested in disposable. Thank you for the advice. I do. Why did you contact me if you have these things? You don't really think that I don't know being Kate. Here's a free tip for, for me. I don't quit. I don't ever quit. I have contacted you because I want to help. I have contacted you because you have one beautiful word on them, leverage. You never quit. It's in your DNA. I'm very serious about doing good. I need to move my first, my two boys to California, near mother's place. I do not care what happens after that. I will say you can protect me, but I'm not a guarantee. So he wants money to fly his kids to California. Go. He's afraid for their life, their safety. Keep going. Keep going. Once he puts his plane, boys on the plane, then he said he'll come forward. He knows what's going. Keep going. These people can stop your life in a heartbeat. Again, I won't move. You may feel that this guy was my attorney. He's afraid to come forward and let his children are in a plane going across the country. Now what makes someone that afraid? And remember Marisa worrying about her life and mine? Keep going. Keep going. I have what you need. I am ready to protect my sons. Keep going. I know others, children like yourself. You have four boys and one girl. He put my daughter's name there. You would do the same for them in possible trouble. Uh, but unfortunately, Sarah lives in Wyndham. So, this is this pastor telling me my name of my ex-wife, the fact that I have five children, and my daughter's name. Go down. You can beat these thugs. Offer a shortcut. Keep going down. I need my boys in the air. Right? Hand over tapes, pictures, files, documents. Now you think about that. Who has all that stuff on me and why? Really? I haven't broken any laws. You know why? You know if I did, you know I wouldn't be talking to you here right now. Go down. That you should see arguing as a father yourself. I see you're saying, obviously I know this. I would never be able to say this, what I know. Keep going. My kids come first. Keep going now. Then they tell me, I can prove that you have a rat. Really? I catch a lot of rats. But not your biggest one yet. I've already caught Lisa Tracy. Maybe you didn't hear. Right? And I know they leveraged her. They leveraged her with her children, as I told you. Ready? I told you that already. You did. This is a bigger one. Really? Bigger than Lisa Tracy, which also confirms that she was a spy. Go down. Then we talk about whether I can do it. I say I'm going to put it on YouTube. What, and then he's telling me, where do I leave my briefcase? Put the money in it. Go up. He knows that I'm doing a RICO case. Really? And you're going to do it next week. That's his way of telling me he has information. You know what? He was right. Go down. Wants me to go to a mall. Food court. You know why? You are very interesting, you are, Mike Hill. 
Because I was going to kick his ass in the next week. Down. No deal. Lowered my standards. Me here. Down. Want to talk. Talking about go down. The terms. I disagree. Go down. He wanted me to meet him in a mall. Go down. In front of other people. No, I'm protecting my family, my ex-wife as possible. You can say you're acting like crooks. Down. I took a lot of work to get here. A number of my last step in protecting my voice. I agree that these are assholes to pay. But if we take the proper steps and get it done today, it all yours allowed. Keep going down. All right, let's go on. So, he goes on and he threatens my children. Tell me where my son moved to. We moved in with. Go back. But what makes him so afraid? Because he worked for these people. He knows who they are. Let's go to Miller. Amy Miller. He was an attorney we got. You know, in the reference on Ted's text, he says, Miller. He points her out as a spy. Oh, and by the way, she's still not the biggest rat. I sent Miller two emails the day before this deposition. In this email, I'm simply asking her what it's been, she's been speaking to to the other attorneys on the case that we're suing. Next email. In fact, I made it very direct. I go, in the conversations you've had with Bob Curley, of Curley and Curley representing Morris Mahoney, what have you said? Well, this is what she said to me. The deposition stopped. Right. She turned around and told me, if I told you, it would incriminate me. Really? Affidavit one. Right? This is an affidavit. I've got two affidavits that were witnesses five feet from when she said and told me that and said exactly, next one. As I said, two affidavits saying exactly that. So you know what? She walked right out. Back. But that's a video that I would like you to watch. Because what that is, Shannon Donnelly, I have her deposition too. Now watch that video. The woman walking, working for the state of New Hampshire, whose husband's in the mafia, she gets caught, I get five wires with names on it, and she's got her husband on it. Right? I mean, you can't make that up. All right. Now, now remember now, these are all witnesses. Each and every one of them. Right? I mean, I mean I've got multiple people there afraid for their lives. I had two attorneys there. I had Pike and a gentleman named Breen. They were working together. Do you see what that name is right there? That's Breen. Now go up again. That's the Kate Cusack of the DRA. And what that is, is an offer to release from civil liability and assistance on helping her on the criminality. All right? So we send this off a little bit just so you get a picture of what this exactly is. It was a federal, you see federal authorities. All right. Now I want you to notice down here, down, that Breen signed it. Now let's go back. Do you know, these releases, there was 20 of them. And in these 20, Pike and Breen signed every one. Go down. Let's see if we have some more. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. Oh, now we get two signatures. Go down again. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Lorraine Colby of the IRS. Two signatures. Let's go down again. We got Bill Shaheen, one of my personal favorites, right? He gets a letter. Ah. Flurry, the banking commission, this is the banking commission, he gets a letter. You know, we'll give you a release and we'll help you with the Fed so they don't throw your ass in jail for too fucking long. Now, let's go back to the top again. See that? The DRA. Now why did he sign 20 out of 21? But he didn't sign that one. Wow. Let's go to his deposition. You know what it says here? I asked him a question. Did you ever work for the DRA? 
Ready? Yes. He was an intern there for the Department of Revenue. Wow. Well, you did work for the company for the Department of Revenue, right? We had a forgery. My lawyer, who's going after and suing the, the DRA for this criminality and this forgery, I fired him. He gets a job with the DRA. Although they didn't get the job yet, you know why? He was too soon. He was promised a job. You're unsure of that? Go back. He signs 20 out of 21. Now you tell me what the possibility is there. Hit pipe deposition. What I'm telling you is on the internet. All right? In their words. You see if I'm missing anything. One more important thing. You ready? Crystal was an attorney. It was here for a week. It worked closely with Pipe. You know what Pipe said? Oh, we got a notification from the court that Driscoll works for Liberty Mutual. Right. Hard evidence of Liberty Mutual. In the deposition, an attorney, Chris Driscoll, who was working with Pipe, kind of took Pipe under his wing. Let's hit Driscoll for a second. You know what? We got something from the court on the, on the cases he was working for us on. See Chris Driscoll right there? See where that says to our rights? We're sending the information to LibertyMutual.com. He was still working for it. And when we brought that up to Pike, you know what Pike said? Oh, that'd be a conflict. A conflict with who? Oh, with the Vine Millimat and all the lawsuits. He knew that. And Driscoll was a spy. Let's go back. I'd like you to read an email. In fact, I'll put it up there so you can see it. It's from Brian Barrington. You know, the corrupt bastard's been with me in these depositions, working for Liberty. Well, hold on. This is a settlement request. It is certainly not our choice. I am just the messenger. No, the settlement would be global to end all litigations. Global. Could you call that organized in more than one? Right? Everybody's saying they're innocent. And yet, they're putting the word global themselves and referring to themselves. Let's go on. The demand, however, would be allocated among the parties. Parties. More than one. Certainly, divine is the lion's share of the loss. 